what is the difference between evasion and endurance in Throne of Liberty? When creating your own build in the game, you might hear some players suggest an evasion build, while others argue that evasion is ineffective and recommend focusing on endurance, which can be more beneficial. In this video, we will explain what evasion does and what endurance does. Once you understand how both mechanics work and the difference between them, you will be able to choose the one that suits you best. So, what do evasion and endurance do? Evasion allows you to avoid some enemy attacks. However, it doesn't prevent all attacks. Instead, it reduces the chances of certain attacks hitting you, enabling you to dodge them. On the other hand, endurance reduces the chance of being hit by critical hits, which deal high damage. Now, let's dive deeper into the topic and explain the difference in more details. For example, this weapon, it has a damage range from 50 to 200. After calculating all the points you will get from your gear and accessories, the weapon's effective power will range from 126 to 456. To simplify, let's assume the weapon's power is between 100 and 450. What does this mean? 100 represents the normal hit damage, meaning when you use the bow, you will deal standard damage of 100. 450 is the maximum damage and it's known as critical hit. We will consider that evasion deals with the normal hit of the weapon, which is set at 100. However, the main function of evasion is to prevent all type of attacks from hitting you completely, whether they are normal hits or critical hits. It handles all kind of attacks, but for the sake of simplicity, I will focus on how it works with the normal hit for now. Later, I will explain how normal hit can turn into critical hit, while endurance deal with the weapon's critical hit, which have a power of 450. There are mathematical formulas taken into account with weapon power, skill damage, and hit chances and traits, but I want to keep it straightforward to understand what evasion and endurance do. Therefore, I will talk about these two numbers only, 100 which will represent normal hits in our upcoming examples, and 450 which will represent critical hits. Let's explain evasion. There are three types of evasion, melee evasion, ranged evasion, magic evasion. You need to choose which one you want to protect yourself from. For example, I have a longbow and staff and I want to protect myself from anyone who can hit me from a distance. So I will choose ranged and magic evasion. Every melee user, they can't get close to me because I will strike them from a distance. How is evasion calculated? Evasion is calculated using two factors, your evasion stat and the enemy's hit chance. You can visit the website Questlog, search for any build that suits your class, and you can see how much evasion this build has. Now, how do we determine the hit chance of the enemy? You can find the hit chance for classes like staff or bow on the same site. For example, let's assume the enemy's hit chance is 700 and your evasion is 1200. We can input that into the Excel sheet that I prepared. The calculation reveals a 33% chance for you to evade the hits. This means if the enemy makes 10 attacks, you will avoid 3 of them. You want to prevent the hits from occurring altogether. One of those hits could have been a critical hit since the hit chance indicate the probability of the hit happening in the first place. If a skill does manage to affect you, only then it result in a critical or normal hit. Your objective is to avoid as many hits as possible from the start. I haven't calculated any buffs or food that might enhance your evasion or the enemy's hit chance as I want to keep the numbers simple for clarity. Now let's discuss endurance. There are three types of endurance. Melee endurance, ranged endurance, magic endurance. You need to choose which one you want to protect yourself from. How is endurance calculated? Using the same method, let's find an endurance build, for example, a healer. The healer wants to protect themselves, for example, ranged users. 
We can compare ranged endurance to ranged critical hit chance. If the ranged endurance is 900 and the enemy's critical hit chance is 1200, then the chance that critical hit will land is 23%. This means if the enemy is going to hit you with 10 attacks, 8 will likely be normal hits with the power of 100, while only 2 will deal damage with the power of 450. The greater the difference between your endurance and the enemy's critical hit chance, the higher your chance of taking critical damage. Don't underestimate even a 20% chance reduction. For example, if the enemy lands 8 hits at 100 damage each, that totals 800 damage. If they land 2 critical hits, the damage would total 450 plus 450 equals 900. Thus, just two critical hits could result in damage equivalent to all the normal hits. You effectively reduce the chances of critical hits, allowing yourself to take only two hits. The remaining normal hits can be mitigated through health and defense gained from your strength. You can see that when you increase your strength points, your defenses and health will increase. Now that we understand how both mechanics work, let's consider two scenarios. One character with evasion build and another with endurance build, and they were both get hit from the same longbow user. The character with evasion has 30% chance to avoid attacks entirely. Out of 10 attacks, they would only face 7. Since this character relies on evasion and have zero endurance, there is a 50% chance that those 7 hits will be critical. You can calculate the critical hit chance between zero endurance and 1200 critical hit using the Excel sheet. In ideal scenario, they might take 4 normal hits at 100 damage each for a total of 400 along with 3 hits at 450 damage for a total of 1350. This results in a total of 1750. On the other hand, the character with endurance has only 20% chance for critical hits to affect them Thus, among 10 attacks, only 2 will be critical hits, while the rest are normal hits. So the damage would be 450 plus 450 plus 800, totaling 1700. Another factor to consider is that players who utilize evasion often attack from a distance, such as longbow or staff users. They aim to protect themselves from ranged and magic users, by focusing their evasion on those attack types. However, melee attackers can be managed because you can escape from them, strike from a distance, and if they get close, you can use stun or crowd control skills on them. While endurance consistently reduces damage, it is especially beneficial for players who are directly engaged in a combat. Evasion users can maneuver and escape. The primary rule of endurance is to absorb as many hits as possible, converting them all into normal hits rather than critical ones. This is especially crucial for classes like healer or tank with high health, as it allows them to withstand numerous hits while minimizing critical damage. The same idea of evasion and endurance can be applied to the mobs. Hit chance increases with the higher perception. As perception rises, your hit chance, crowd control, and stun abilities also improve. This is my personal research on the topic, and I couldn't find any comprehensive explanations. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.